All right, welcome back everyone. So apparently the sound now works off screen. I don't know, it seemed to have been some glitch that happened in the last episode. I think it was like not working, but that's okay. So we're back. I kind of went, I kind of walked around. I did say I was gonna grind a little, which I did, but my, I, I think when you give yourself like a goal to do, it's really easy to just kind of grind passively while you're working on that. I was trying to get some boosters and I went for specifically 6B because they were easy to get and they have the, I think it's a gold aura or something that gives like your Digimon like 10-10, like your whole row of Digimon and it's a white card. So kind of working towards getting that white deck that we wanted to do. So. But I don't know, it's like random boosters. I I think the best thing is to really go around and just kick all the trees and fish as much. I was fishing um, right here in the Badlands and it's really cool because the card money that you get, they're like orca colors. I don't know if I can find one right now, but okay. Yeah, they're like black and white and it's so cute. I'm like, oh my gosh, they've, uh, yeah. So that's what they look like right there. There's, it's like a killer whale. Uh, really cool. I was like, wow, that's that's a nice touch. So uh, I was killing these guys because you can get some uh, summon Angemon out of these guys. Uh, I went and bought, I think we had like one Angevomon as a card. I bought like three more or I think we had two or something. So slowly getting to that point where we have a white deck. But yeah, so the cardmon, as you see, they change. Um, so as we're in the screen right here, so I did get to level 40 with Kumamon, so I have Marsmon, I still gotta put that in, but as I was just grinding, I was like, oh, I'm right in the area where we need to be, so I can just start the episode, and, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get into Baihu City and stuff like that, so, um, yeah, and um, Vmon, uh, same thing, I have Imperial Dramon, and down there with Rainamon, you can see I have both Sakuyamon and uh, Phoenixmon, so... Uh, I think I'm gonna use Phoenix Mon, honestly, because I, I comparatively they almost have the same stats. Phoenix Mon has better defense, which I think is very important for Rainamon as a Digimon because it, she just loses a ton of health. So uh, yeah, so let's go to see if we can get into by who's. Uh, let's talk to this guy. What does he say? Hey you, who are you? You're suspicious. Let's change one battle. I knew he was gonna say that. <clears throat> they always had the same dialogue, which is kinda sad. But I, I did find one guy he has a betamon? Okay, weird. I did find a guy earlier who was I was in the uh, jungle shrine by the Ether Jungle and the Amaterasu server. And he was like, I don't wanna control this area by myself. Does that make me a bad trooper? And he didn't want to fight me. And I was like, okay. Uh, so one thing I haven't talked about, there are, you know, we have seen the world bosses in the Asuka server, but we haven't seen them in this server, and they do exist in this server. I don't know if there's like, I don't know if they're like really strong or something, but I think we're gonna start, um, if I'm gonna end up in the like, <clears throat> what is it, the East Sector? Where we where we first fought Pharaohmon in the ruins there in the protocol ruins. If we get there, I'm gonna probably do that and try and try to see if we can beat whoever is there because I don't know who's there. Uh, the reason I say that is because I was in the jungle shrine and you know when you go further into the catacombs we we fought Zanbamon in there, but in the Amaterasu server it's actually Black Seraphimon that's in there. And I just, I didn't fight him or anything, I just saw him and I was like, oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> so there's also the Digizoid, the metal, Digizoid metal quest that I uh, kind of talked about. I need to still look that up. Um, but all of that is definitely going to happen. I just kind of want to get to the point where uh, we're, we're kind of, we're getting slowly to like the last quarter of this game, I want to say. So I want to get to the point where we really have only this one mission that we have to go to, but we have access to everywhere. Oh yeah, one interesting thing about, <clears throat> um, what is this, Malo Miotis Mon? Uh, that he can confuse on his regular attacks, it's crazy. Or maybe that's my weapon that I have. 
It only happens once in a while, but yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so I kind of want to get to the point where we can say, okay, we only have the last boss to defeat or something, or like work towards that goal. And then I want to do like all kinds of side quests. Because with the, specifically with the card game, and that's why I was kind of grinding for the cards, there's still so much to do. Like you guys don't realize that, because I'm going to kind of spoil it a little bit, but so we have to do dual island again, right? But then we still have the Amaterasu dual island where we have to go to and become the champion there. Once we become the champion there, that's not even the end of it because there's other like really strong card battlers that can only fight after you win in the Amaterasu server, uh, the dual island challenge there. So there's like so much with the card game that I still need to do. So I'm just kind of like, okay, I need to start doing some more bonus episodes because otherwise we're just going to be stuck with just bonus episodes by the end, which wouldn't be that bad because the card game is still so cool. Um, So before when we came here, there was guards, but they're gone. So I think my presumption from last episode was correct that we should just go to Baihu City. And um, let's see if they have taken... Oh, they have taken us back, guys. Look at this. Yay. All right, so let's talk to Piximon. Because we want to get Marsmon. And uh, I, I forgot the other one. Oh, Imperial Dramon. Um, change. So we can get rid of maybe... Um, let's get rid of Myotismon. So as you guys can see, the power level right here is already at 999, okay? I am not leveling power at all anymore because there is no sense in doing that. Speed I can still do on this guy and then I'm probably going to do defense. Um, but between the two of them, uh, Malo Mirosman is faster, but Imperial Dramon has a little bit more defense. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, low technique? Can we load something? No, okay, that's fine. That's okay. And then we want to do the same thing here. So I kind of, um, as I said before, I kind of wanted to get to... Hmm. Hammer Rush would be nice to have. So I'm, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to switch him out. Well, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute here. Maybe we can do this to Marsmon. And then we put Marsmon as the digital illusion. So that we get like all look at all these techniques that we're getting isn't that great so marsmon is really awesome but uh level 10 marsmon gets as far as i know it gets the devimon digivolution so i think that's what i'm gonna work towards honestly guys because i don't with the other two i kind of have like a goal going towards you know i kind of wanted to get to phoenixmon you know, I want to get to like the holy Digimon and stuff like that with uh, Rainamon. So I kind of have achieved that. And then, like I said, I, I, I'm i just a f huge. Oh, guys. Oh, look at that. Wait. Okay. Not all of these are better. So this increases my damage even more. Garuru Cannon. Like Garurumon. Uh, Mega Guard, Trihorn. Don't we have. Oh, wait, I sold a Trihorn. What? Didn't we have. That's weird. I, I thought the Tri. I don't know. Whatever. I thought the Trihorn wasn't that good. But that's okay. We can buy some uh, equipment here. Kumamon specifically. Because um, that's like all good for him. So I'm definitely going to get two of these. The thing is with, like, Vimon, like, does he really need that? He's already at 999. Does he need to get stronger already? Not really. So I'm trying to figure out... This has a poison effect on it. Grey Sword. Part of a D... So this is, like... I think this is, like, uh, Omnimon Sword. Omega Mon, I think, is what he was called in the Japanese release. There was... <laughs> I had, Talking about the name differences. I think at some point I said Tailmon was Gatomon's name in the American release and it was named Gatomon in the Japanese release. That's actually wrong. It's Tailmon in the Japanese release. I was like, wow, I'm really dumb, but that's okay. 
I don't know if I want this. Guys, I don't know if I want this, because this lowers my speed, and I'm already kind of good with the attack. But I don't have anything else to give him, because this lowers about 300, and I don't want to do that. Mm. But I do need charisma, and there is a specific reason for that that I'll talk about later. Uh, I guess I'm just going to get the best stuff here. Uh, we're almost out of money again. See how important money is, guys, in this game? Uh, right here, again, I do want to probably get this. Oh my god, I have like no money left, guys. Royal Crown, which Kumamon already has, right? Matrix Helm. Ooh, that gives me a ton. I just got the Trihorn from, didn't I? Yeah, it gives me a ton of defense, so. I don't necessarily need defense. It's like I like beating the crap out of people before they can kill me. All right, let's put this in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be out of money here in a minute. What? Oh, did I buy two accidentally? I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, crap. Do I have enough money? I I do just have enough money. Oh my god. We're out of money, guys. Again, as always. Oh boy. Yeah, it's really important now that you save as much money as you can. I don't want to sell these. Uh, that I can definitely sell. That I can definitely sell. That I want to kind of keep. Scissor horn. Sell that. I don't know. Those those things were the ones that we bought at the auction, right? I've sold half of them already, but I don't know. I don't know. Makes the wearer harder to detect. What does that even mean? Like, do I not encounter as many Digimon? That would be kind of cool. Angel ring. Ring floating above the head. Crown with divine light. I don't know, they don't do anything, do they? <sighs> I'm always so nervous. I'm like, I don't want to sell things. So glasses, I got a ton of those from, what was I fighting? Oh, Flymon? Flymon in the East Sector. Yeah, and they, they have those. I was like, okay, I don't know. That makes your aim better, but it's not like we miss all the time, so I don't know. Uh, supercharge. I went, yeah, so as I was saying, I went into the jungle shrine, and there was an item there. I was like, oh my gosh. But honestly, the item distribution in this game is so out of whack. Because, you know what you know what was in there? A power charge. It was like a power charge? We got that like 15 minutes into playing this game, we got a power charge. And 70 hours into the game, they're still giving us power charges in boxes. Like it seems kind of, I don't know, it seems kind of weird. Seems like someone was just trying to put stuff in boxes and they had no idea what to put in there. So they're like, oh, let's put a power charge. Like that's 12, that cost me 12 bit to buy one power charge. That's not a good treasure to put in a box. Put armor in there, or put like a cool accessory in there or something, I don't know. Alright, I want to save, and let's talk to the leader. Wait a minute. We need to get the, our, our, we need to get the colored passes, right? We have the one from East Sector, and we have the one from the South Sector. So, and we got them both from the AOA agents, the, the leaders, the chiefs, or whatever they're called. So... I don't know, it doesn't make, doesn't make sense in my head. Because I'm like, how are we... Oh, there's a Renamon. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be uh, on anyone's side. I'm just going to quietly watch the fight between humans. Wow, okay, why don't you get the H out of here then? Why are you here then if you don't care? Go somewhere else then. Uh... Okay. So we took over half the city, and then the other half were just peacefully just... What's going on here? I don't understand. Ooh, guys. Look at these cards. We got Mega Cup of Terramon. Pale Dramon 2. Is it Pale Dramon 1? Okay. Superstar Mon. Shakumon. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do anything with that. I just wanted to see if there was some uh, Angel Digimon or something we could buy. Okay, I'm going to talk to these guys. I didn't think taking over the server would go this well. The real world will be ours in no time. What? Uh, we are guarding this area. If the resistance comes, we will capture them. What? This doesn't make any sense. 
how did they not let us okay I guess I guess we haven't taken over the city all right I'm gonna go fight the chief now are you the Baihu chief that's right what do you want give me the white ID pass that you have like how do we know that no one even told us that <laughs> I see hey 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 no matter what you do victory will be ours now it's time to learn your lesson mwah, mwah, mwah. Sorry guys, last episode I was really tired and I was like, I realized I was like, my god, I'm like I shouldn't be recording, but I really wanted to do daily episodes, put myself into a situation where I'm like, eh. but yeah, oh, I forgot, I forgot I gave him, wait, I didn't give him, oh, he had the multi crest, but because there was an effect on the weapon that we had earlier, we weren't able to actually triple attack, now we are, okay. Yeah, that works for me. Wait, we didn't change our digivolution. We're gonna do Imperial Drum on. That's okay. We'll see Malo Miyotismon in action one more time. He's just so gross looking. Look at him. So gross. <laughs> like, what is that supposed to be? Is that like flesh underneath? That red stuff? With the like holes in it? Oh god, and it's like, look at the hands. Look at the little fingers that he has. The little pink ends there. Like, it's weird. I mean, he was like bad looking in the anime, you know, and he was like gross and like, Bleh. but man, with PlayStation 1 graphics, he just looks scary. Ooh, yeah, I got Griffon Mon. So nothing we haven't seen before, I'm pretty sure, because uh, Griffon Mon are here in the desert. So, I, didn't we just fight one? I think we just fought one. Okay, we countered. That's why we haven't countered either, I think. Um, I, you know what, guys? I want to show off, like, other Digimon. We, we, you know, we've seen Malomiotos Mon. Let's show off. Look at that. Phoenix Mon. First time in battle. Attack! So, there's certain Digimon that have, like, these holy rings on them. Uh, Phoenix Mon has two of them. So that's really cool. Oh, we counter. Look at that. We're probably gonna kill him with that. Oh no, we're not. That's okay. We're gonna kill him with this. Oh. Like who doesn't like a good, good old phoenix? You know, on the legend of the, the phoenix or whatever. Ooh. Okay. I don't think you guys have seen them. Pink Abidramon you can find when you fish in this sector. Uh, beside the Cardmon or whatever, you can find. Oh. Okay. That was a pretty strong attack. I'm gonna heal up one time. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm like thinking. I'm like, what am I gonna do? So we'll heal up one time because we're gonna get it, get to attack twice, and then we're gonna use our second one to attack. Yeah, I love Phoenix Mon. Phoenix Mon is cool. I love the holy Digimons with the rings and stuff. Like Gatomon is one of them. Has like a ring on its tail. Oh my god, does so much damage. Yeah, I definitely have to start. Uh, working on the de defense, I think. Alumiotismon. Okay, we didn't. 1400 bit. 1450 bit. Okay. Cool, we got the white pass. You see that? Don't mess with me. Huh? Is this? Yes, it is. So there's no door this time around. Yeah, I got the white ID pass. One left to go. Let's hurry. Alright, so. Because last we heard we were going to look for them to help us, the resistance, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know, that's weird. I kind of want to talk to them and see what they're saying now. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go over there and then I can save over there. It's not too far. Because Lisa was like, I'm going to go and see if they can help us. Okay, and then apparently they helped us because the guards are gone, but... The resistance doesn't want to fight back because uh, Nightmon is too strong and we're trying to get the color passes so we can overwrite them. We know how strong Nightmon are. The one game over we got was against them and that was like because there's no other way to have that go. Who are you? Let's Digimon battle. Oh my god, again I didn't Digivolve. Did did oh, it's Brachiomon. Attack! One, two, three. 
All right, let's see. Oh, wow. Nice. Damn, we blocked that. I hate that the multi-crest takes forever. Like, it's not just, like, one attack. All right, who else do we have? Ooh, Deltamon. I mean, I could, like, let's Digivolve, guys. Let's do that. Yeah. What is that, a slide Digivolution? Isn't that what they call it? Because you slide into the other, I don't know. I think that's what they call it. Because it's not like a, it's not like you go to into a different uh, Digivolution, you know, like a different, you go to like a different line, but it's the same level. I don't know. Oh my God. That's hilarious. He's like flaps his hands. He looks cool. I love him. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, come on. All right, we're gonna kill him and then let's see who's number three. Ooh, Mammoth Mon, but that's, wait a minute, isn't that the original coloration? I'm pretty sure it is. That's interesting. Usually they get like the new colorations and stuff like that if they're, oh. He's pretty strong now. Oh, we blocked it. I, you know, I used to love Mammoth Mon, because I'm like, he doesn't really have an eye. Like he has that like one weird eye symbol, but it's not really an eye. Like he doesn't have any eyes. Uh, I always thought it was pretty cool. But then again, you look at like Angemon, Angevomon, they don't have eyes either. Deadly poison. All right, let's do the battle digivolution correctly here. So we're kind of getting there, guys. We're kind of getting there where there's not much more to level up. I mean, there is a couple of like really, really strong Digimon that you can go for. Uh, I don't know if this is really a spoiler because I don't know if I'm gonna go for it, but if you get like Imperial Dramon to 99, you can get the Fighter Form. And then you can get the Fighter Form to 99. Then you have to get Metal Gururumon and Wargreymon both to like level 40, I think, and it gives you Omnimon. And then you get Omnimon to level 99, as well as Imperial Dramon Fighter Form 99. And then you get the, you get that white version. I forgot what he's called. Uh, like holy, uh, holy mode or something. Isn't that what it's called? I, I forgot what it's called. But yeah, so, and I, I'm pretty sure that's like the strongest one that you can get. There's also like Diaboromon that you can get that's really strong. So there's certain like mega level that are like on their own freaking level. But I'm not gonna level all these Digimon to like 99 and stuff. Later on, it does get a little bit harder for like the boss fight and stuff, but. Like I said, I'll be doing si Oh my god, what is happening? Just watch, we'll turn them all into Oinkmon. Uh, no, I want to talk to the other guy. Wait, can I not talk to him? Resistance headquarters was in the- We're going to attack them and capture them. So, uh, once we get the Resistance, there's no stopping us. Our plan to take over the- Okay, so I guess they must have- Lisa must have informed them to attack or something. And then they only got the the guards went and attacked. So they the guards of Baihu City went and attacked the Mirage Tower. They're on their way to attack there because Lisa told the resistance to help out and they kind of lured them over to the Mirage Tower so that we were able to get in to Baihu City. So I guess that was the plan, but we were never told of this plan. <clears throat> So now we can just move on. We can go to the North Sector, which I have no idea how to get to. So best way to do that, guys, is just go underground, honestly. Like I'm, okay, so we, cause we can't, yeah, we can't really talk to anyone here and we don't really, I don't know. We're gonna have to go underground anyways. Ooh. Because we, we have to go underground because that's the, the like one and only way to really n reach the North Sector. So we might as well just do that. Oh god, we're already at 24 minutes. How? Like we haven't even done anything. I feel like. <laughs> well, we defeated the Chief, so that's something. Right? That's not nothing. 
kind of want to get somewhere, though. Ah. All right, kill him, please. So I think we're going to see Imperial Drum on fighter form. But I don't know if I'm going to get any further with those Digivolutions. If I feel really frisky and if we're getting to the point where there's a lot of side quests going on and I can just swap out Digivolutions because we're super strong anyways at that point, then I might do that. But I'm not going to specifically grind that out because it would be cool to see and all. But it is, I remember I did it one time because I really wanted to get it. I really wanted to see it. But it just becomes a pain in the butt. It's a lot of grind, so. And that's okay. You know, because people always have the option of getting this game themselves and doing that. You know, it's always nice to, I don't know. I, I, I enjoy, there's certain games that I enjoy watching other people play, so I don't have to worry about playing them. I don't know, it, it sounds weird when I say it like that. Because there's certain games where I'm like, I'm not too invested, but there's certain things that I want to see. Okay, wait. Where do we... Uh, okay, so... Okay, uh, I guess we're gonna walk around here. <laughs> Question mark. Um, it's gonna be easier this way because... The d where does this lead? I don't know. Let's go in here. Ooh, I love that song. Uh, I hate that the Amaterasu Su server has like the same song everywhere because it really like in the Asuka server when you go to like different sectors and stuff having the different music really gives you like it builds this like atmosphere and it's like what's that called like the um, when you feel like you're like in the game um, but yeah I just get like it just makes it feel better and it's nostalgic to me now as well so um, but yeah, as I was saying, so like certain games, I don't know, certain games just, it's just more enjoyable for me to watch like a playthrough online of like my favorite like YouTubers or something and not have to stress about like, oh, this is really hard, this part, and you know, I'm stuck at this part for so long, you know, where like, I'm like, oh no, I'm just gonna watch them. Oh God, we're confused. Please, let me just attack one time. Oh god, it does so much damage. I love sweet things. Can't stop crying. Okay. Oh my god. I'm like, please stop crying and just attack. <laughs> meet me, meet me, meet me, meet me. Alright. I don't want to go this way. I want to go this way. Like on these little things, there's never been anything on it. It's kind of dumb. But yeah. And it's also nice when you like watch YouTubers play a video game, you kind of... Because when you play a video game, you're just playing it kind of for yourself, right? Unless you're playing it online with friends or something, you know? But if you're playing like a single player game, you're playing it by yourself, you kind of... You get your own experiences, but when you're playing a when you're watching someone else play it, you kind of see how they react and their experiences on top of like, you have your own experiences with it. So it's like, you're kind of building this relationship, but it's not really relationship because the person doesn't know you're watching that, right? They're just, you you think, like you as the viewer kind of get to, get to know the person that's playing, but that doesn't work the other way around. But it's still kind of cool because, that way you kind of feel like, oh, you know what? I'm sharing this experience with this person. And, but, you know, the other person doesn't know that. But the reason that most YouTubers do this is because that's what they want to do, right? They want to share their experience and their, and their, like, love for something, you know? So that's, I mean, that's the reason I do it anyways. Because the games that I stream and that I'm playing through, oh my god, posing, no, please just attack before we die. Thank you. You know, that's the reason that I I do YouTube videos is because I want to show my love for like these... I, I try to do like hidden gems more so... Oh, Mega Heal. We learned Mega Heal? That's really nice, guys. We don't need 
supercharges anymore. We can just use Mega Heal. Let's use it, actually. Heal to maximum. Holy crap. Okay, that's really nice. And that cost how much? Ooh, that cost 74 MP, though. So we can't use it too often. So if we ever run out of supercharges, doubtful, but if we ever do. Okay, let's see what's over here. Uh, uh, Freeze Mountain. Are we in the... Yeah, uh, what sector are we in? Okay, we're in the regular... We're in, uh, in the Asuka server. That's okay. We're gonna go to the inn and save. Wait, is the inn here? Or is it... Yeah, it is. Pretty sure it is. Snow Mountain, that's where it is. So let's say Let's heal up and save here, and then let's find... I forgot which hole leads to the uh, Amaterasu server. Um, but yeah, so I, I kind of, I want to I wanna do hidden gems on my channel pretty much. Or games that didn't get the love that I feel like they deserved. Um, hence why I'm currently playing on my streams, I'm playing Freelancer. So if you guys have been watching, I've seen some people commenting and stuff like that. And I've had some people in the chat with me and stuff. And it's just, it's cool because I think that game was so underrated. And I think that's why it was, it didn't ever get a sequel. You know, we're getting Star Citizen, which is like the spiritual successor, but it's not like the real, se like a real sequel, you know, Freelancer 2. But it should have because it was way ahead of its time. You know, if you update like the, the character models of the people, because those look really outdated. They look like they're from like 2003. If you update those, the game looks like it could have just released like a couple years ago, honestly. With all the systems in place, with all the voice work that went into it. Back then, there wasn't that much voice work, you know? I mean, this game, for example, it doesn't have any voice dialogue whatsoever. Like, there's no voiced lines. And like throughout, PlayStation 1 era like there wasn't that much dialogue that was said but Freelancer has like hundreds of like probably thousands of lines of dialogue that is spoken by voice actors and stuff so there, and to be fair there were some games that had it like now that I think about it more there were, there were other games that had it and stuff but I think it didn't get the credit it deserved because it had so much dialogue in that game we're kicking this tree Nothing there, you know, so, um, but I think I'm going to stop the episode here, guys. I know we're kind of just like wandering around, but we did get the chief done. And the next episode, I'm going to start when I'm in the Amaterasu server, because that way we don't have to like wander around and stuff. And then we'll probably get to defeat the other chief next episode. And maybe we'll kick some trees and fish a little bit, because I know that the boosters we get around here are actually really good. So, but yeah. Um, that'll all happen in the next episode. So, bye guys. I'll see you then.